Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure for me to be here again in order to share with you new ideas about this language. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello, sir. I can hear you. I can hear you. I'm here, teacher. Just tell me, how do you feel today? Welcome back, Angel Narciso. A pleasure okay, to see sure. you again. Lorraine, San Miguel, teacher. No, 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 no rain in here. If why you are not raining too. It's not raining. Welcome, Rafael. Thank you, teacher. Hello, how are you? Everything good, I think. Okay. How is the weather there? It's cool here. Okay. Hi, Hello, Harrison. Welcome. 
Yes, I drive it, teacher. Really? Okay, let me see. Okay, um, only nine. I'm still waiting for Christina is there. Welcome, Christina. Norma Carolina is, is there too. It is Julia, Marlene, Karina. Okay. Giovanni is coming to. Good evening, teacher. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. And you? To see you again. I'm okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Just wait in the weekend in order to rest a little bit. Just waiting for the weekend, you know. Okay, uh, before to check the attendance, 
I remember you that yesterday I asked you to write down some sentences using should with the word schedule, dress code, attend training, and sleep in work hours. Try to have it in on hand, please, because we are going to make a review. Sulaima is connecting, Xiomara is connecting. Uh, who is there? Okay, we are so close to finish. Only just three days more after this one, and you are going to finish. And you are going to have some free days in order that you can do a, a lot of activity that you have to do. Um, we are going to finish the next um, Wednesday. I hope that you are doing well in the platform, solving all the, the activities that there are there. And remember that the most important thing that you have to do is just practice, 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 practice. Really, really important that you practice. Okay, I'm going to check up the, the attendance now because I've been waiting enough time. Okay, today Friday 22nd October. Ana del Carmen. Ángel Narciso. Present teacher. Eh, Chris, Cristina. Present. Eh, Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Gerson Manuel. Present. San Miguel. Juan Carlos. Karina. Present. Linda Ivet. Linda. María Idalia.
María Julia. Present. Marlen. Present. Marvin Omar. Nancy. Norma Carolina. Norma Carolina. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Okay. Reinaldo Castro. Reinaldo Castro. Suleima. Present teacher. Welcome. Xiomara. Present teacher. Welcome. And Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Ahí está, ahí está. Ahí está Ana Cristina. Ahí ustedes dicen que no. Okay. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we are ready. Uh, we are going to make a review about the last topic that we studied. Do you remember that I told you to write down some sentences? And... Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Norma? Really? Norma Carolina? Yes, teacher. Okay. Sí, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Sí. Okay, let us make a review about the last topic that we studied yesterday. Somebody want to share the sentence with us? Se recuerdan que le dije? Sí, ¿verdad? Okay. Let us do it now, please. Recuerden que today is Friday. So please hurry up. Hello, can you hear me? I'm here waiting. Welcome, Marvin. Okay, uh, Mr. Cardona, can you mention a name of your classmate in order that okay. he or she uh, okay. read? Okay, tell me. Okay, uh, Raquel. Raquel, are you there, Raquel? Yes, teacher. Do you want to share with us your sentences? No, last terminé, teacher. Okay. Somebody else, please? Karina, entonces. Karina, teacher. Karina. Teacher, I said it again. Uh, yesterday. Ah, uh, you read it yesterday? Yeah, yes. at, the at the beginning, I remember that. Okay. Mention me, tell me somebody else, please. If I, I don't have to, in realidad no debería yo estar dando nombres, because it's something that we, we had to do yesterday, right? I mean, if you want to participate to remember what we started yesterday, just 
Raise your hand and tell me, please. What do you remember about yesterday? About the topic. Uh-huh, yeah, I'm waiting. You can take a look at your notes that you have there in order that you remember what we started. We studied the use of shul, teacher. Okay, okay, excellent. Excellent, somebody else, please. Talk to you, shul and shouldn't. Okay, shooting, shooting. Somebody wants to give me some example, please. A shooting, a shooting sleep in work hours. Ah, you shouldn't sleep in work hours, okay. Hours, hours, yes. Okay, what else? You should drink water every day. Okay. Excellent. What else? Teacher, we read, we read a, a conversation about the policy. Ah, we also talk about, about something that we call it policies, right? Okay, what do you remember about that? We should not be late at, at the company. Oh, okay, excellent. What else? And we should not smoke or use drugs. Like say, like say the, the conversation. Okay. What else? Somebody else, please. The mask. Hello. What else? That's it. Okay, let us start now talking about the new topic. Remember that uh, when we study a topic, if we have uh, some doubt, we can ask question in order to clarify the topic. Because um, later on, we are going to use that kind of vocabulary. You need to have a good idea about what you are going to use. Es importante que si tienen alguna duda del tema en su momento hagan la pregunta para que así nos quede muy claro de lo que hemos hablado. Si al momento de usar algún vocabulario ya estudiado no, no tengamos dudas. Okay. Okay, before we are going to start with this question, how often do you ask for permission? And what is the pressure to request one? What can you tell me about these two questions? How often do you ask for permission? 
And what is the procedure to request one? Okay, tell me. Tell me, please. Hello. Hello. Uh, I hardly ask for permission. Okay, okay. Excellent. What about the second one? Uh, yes. uh, yes. One moment. Okay. Talking about procedure. Okay. Procedure. Uh, first, a complete. A solicitud. Request. Request. Uh, yeah, complete, re request. Complete, complete request a, an online system. Ah, okay. The company. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? How often do you ask for permission? How often do you ask for permission? Teacher, um, a request form to human resource. Human resources. Request form to human resources. Okay. What else? And how often do you do that? How often? Con que frecuencia? Hello. In my case, sometimes. Sometimes? Yes. You say sometimes it is like uh, once a month. Twice a month, or when is necessary, or, or I go to the doctor. When you have an appointment to see the doctor, right? Yes. Okay. Somebody else, please. Somebody else. Me, teacher. Um, Tell me. in my case. The last two months, I I usually um, request for a permission because uh, of my baby control. Okay. And how uh, is the procedure that you follow? You talk with your boss, you need to fill the form, or do you have to do something else? Yes, um, I talk with my boss, and I feel um, I feel a form that she signed, and then uh, human resources uh, ha has to sign. Okay. Okay, excellent. Somebody else, please. Somebody else, somebody else, somebody else. Do you want me to show you again the two questions? The question sit in this way. How often do you ask for permission? 
And what is the procedure to request one? How often, con que frecuencia, how often do you ask for permission? Chum, please. Hello. In my case, only once a year, teacher. Once a year is okay. Okay, somebody else, please. Okay, let us see this conversation based on the something that we've been talking about. Listen to your teacher read the conversation then practice with the partner. Hank and Yumi. Good morning, ladies. How are you? How are you doing today? And Yuli say, hey, hon, I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is six and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. She is right. You could go to human resources department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, I'm going to read it again in a slowly way. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay. But Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is six and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to human resource department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. And right here, if you don't want to say human resources, just HR. You can say to HR. Okay. Volunteer, you want to read it, please? Me, teacher. Okay. Hey, uh, good morning, ladies. How are you? How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay. But Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to HR depart department and request a form. Could I uh, mention the reason for the per permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, um, let me see. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? How, how are you doing today? How are you doing today? Yeah. How are you doing today? Yeah, yeah that. How are you doing today? Mm. Okay. okay, somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Okay, this is Rafael. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I'm okay, but Betty's not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick. And my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for, for permission. He's right. You could go to human resource department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, right here in this question. Could I mention the reason for the permission? 
Could I mention the reason for the permission? Repeat. Could I mention? Could I mention the reason for the permission? Okay, listen, 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 listen. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Okay. Thank you, Rafael. Somebody else, please? Me, teacher. Okay, good. Good morning, ladies. How are you, you today? How are you doing today? Hello. Um, I am okay. But Barry, Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my sister is sick. And my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that you could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to our HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for permission? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, excellent. The last one, please. In order to... It is yeah. Okay, do it. Do it, please. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Ham. I am okay. But Betty, it's not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick. And my sister can go to her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that you could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. I mentioned the rest, the, the reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. The reason, the reason. Could I mention the reason? Could I mention the reason for the permission? Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, Joanne, I guess that you are trying to read it. Me, teacher. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. You are the last one because later on we are going to practice in the breakout room. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay, but Barry is not. Really? What's wrong, Barry? Well, my mother is six and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that you could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, we are going to go to the big crowd room. I got 17. Okay, I need to put a three in next group. In room two, we have four, and that means that you are going to switch. And also in the, in the number one, try to work together, please. Here we go.
ಮಾಡಿ Okay, welcome back. Okay, let us practice now. There is Hello, Christina. Hello. Okay. Yes. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Ham. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick. I, my sister, can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask to for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request some forms. Will I mention your reason for permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, thank you. Bye, Christina. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Are you please? Xiomara, we do it. Remember that uh, we need okay. to have three, three participants. Okay. And, and you can use your, your own name okay. if you want. Good okay. morning. Okay, here. Okay, good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What, what wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission? He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could, could I mention the reason for the per permission? Yes, absolutely. Hey, somebody else, please. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mom, my mother is sick, and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for, for, for permission. He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. 
could, could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, somebody else, please. Christy. Hola, Cristi, me oye. Yo sí. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, ma'am. I am okay, but very is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Betty? My mother is sick, and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to, to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You call go to HR department, department and request a forum. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Thanks. Okay, somebody else? Somebody else, please. We are facing problem in uh, connections. I can see that some of you are connecting, you are in the class and suddenly you are out. I don't know why. Maybe because of weather or something like that. Okay, somebody else please. Somebody else? No? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. If you don't want to continue participating. Marvin? Teacher, solo a mí me sacó la plataforma, pero lo voy a leer yo solo. What about if somebody helped you? A mí, hey. teacher, a mí también me sacó de la plataforma. Lo puedo hacer con Marvin. Okay, ex excellent. Norma and Marvin. Okay. okay. Good morning, ladies. How, how, how are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that you call us for permission. He is right. You call go to Human Resource Department and request a form. Call. I mentioned your reason for the mm. permission. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any doubt? 
Any question? No. Okay. Let us continue then. Okay, this is the, the book we are going to work in pairs in order to answer exercise number three. We have only asked two questions. What is the problem with Betty? And the second one, do you know someone who had a similar situation? Okay, let us create a breakout room again in order that you can discuss these two questions. Try to, if you don't have the material, try to make a screenshot in order that you can remember the question. But if you have it, don't worry about it. Remember the number one said, what is the problem with Betty? And the second one, do you know someone who had a similar problem? Okay, let us talk about these two questions, please.
Okay. Do you want to share the answer? Uh, me teacher. Giovanni, tell me. Yes. Uh, question. What is the problem with Betty? Answer. Her mother is sick and her sister can go see her mother. Uh, I'm sorry, see, 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 see her tomorrow, tomorrow. E next question, they say, do you, do you know someone who had a similar situation? No, I don't. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, let me stop here because I need to check up again the attendance. Try to remember the answer after that I check uh, the attendance, please. Okay, here we go. Ana del Carmen is there, right? Present teacher. Angel Narcis. Present teacher. Cristina. No. Giovanni. Present teacher. Okay, Present. Okay, Present so. teacher. Person Manuel. Present teacher. Jose Miguel. Miguel. I saw Jose Miguel. Okay, Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Karina Noemi. Present. Linda. Linda. Maria Idalia. Marlene. Marvin Omar. Present teacher. Nancy. Nancy. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Reinaldo Castro. Reinaldo. Xiomara del Carmen. Present teacher. En Suleima. Present teacher. Okay. En Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Teacher no me mencionó. What's your name? Marlene Nicole. Yes, I said Marlene. Yeah, Marlene is there. Okay. I'm sorry. I do really sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, in order to continue, I need that you remember the two questions that we have started. Somebody else wants to share with me uh, the answer, please. ¿Alguien más quiere compartir sus respuestas? Mi yes. question. Ok, listen. The question is, what is the problem with Betty? Your mother is sick, your sister can go see her, her tomorrow. 
And do you know someone who has a similar situation? Is in my case, teacher. Yes, in your own case. Uh, in my case, no, but in my workplace, it's a, le a little situation for permission. Okay, difficult? Um, so, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kind of complicated. And different case. Different cases. Yes. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Somebody else want to say something about this? Okay, let us continue then. Okay, another thing that I would like to tell you is that in your material, in your book, there are some link that you need to visit. For example, this one, you need to take a look at this video about how people request for permission, you know? In this case, uh, the main ideas about, about this is that there are different ways how people can ask for permission, right? Let me send you this link in order that you can watch it. Okay, hold on, I'm going to stop sharing and I'll send it. So. Have, have you watched it? Uh, the previous one? Han visto los videos previos? Cuando les aparece ese tipo de link. Be honest and tell me, yes, teacher, no, never, we never. So, no, child. teacher. But be honest and tell me. Yes, teacher, I saw one yesterday. And you start telling me. I invite you to, to watch it. Uh, it's better if you do it before we start the session. And that way, uh, you already have a, an idea of what we are going to talk about. I'm going to paste here the link. It talks about how to ask for permission using a different model pairs. You have it there. Okay, if you wanna, you can uh, click on, and, and you can uh, adjust the volume of your computer. And you can watch it at least uh, three, four minutes now in order that you can have a clear idea of what we are talking about. It. Or you can watch it uh, later on. In the video, uh, we have uh, different, different scenarios 
because there is a, a kid asking for permission in order to go out. And at the beginning, he's using the word can. Can I go out to play in the park? Yeah, and his, his, his mom said no. But suddenly, uh, he switched the word. Instead of say can, he used could, I go. And that moment, uh, the lady uh, changed her mind and said yes. That, that is the main point there. If you have the, the opportunity to see it, uh, you can remember what, what is the video about. But the main point is how to request for permission. That is really important. I'm going to give you like uh, three or four minutes in order that you can watch it. And then we can discuss about it, okay? Try to take no before. If you want, you can take no.
Okay. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, you can uh, finish watching later on. Just give me an idea of what you see. What do you understand about the video? Tell me. Hello. Hello, are you there? Yes. No teacher. Okay, what can you tell me about the video, Juan Carlos? Por la mitad hoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eso es lo que les dije, que uh, you can stop now. Podemos detenernos ahí and talk about what do you understand about the part that you watch it. Okay. Excuse me. Because it, uh, it is long. It is... You can watch it later on. La otra parte la puede ver más tarde. But just tell me what what do you understand about um, the part that you watch? Because it is 11 minutes. Hello. The video okay. speak about the ability permission in records. Okay, okay. In present in, in, in the past too. Okay. Uh, uh, in the video, a model verb example use the may, the might, a could a be able to, a good, good mind. Okay. Different, different word. Different word. Uh, uh -huh. Informal, formal, or very informal. Okay. Okay, excellent. Somebody else want to say something about this? Y, eh, I'm sorry, teacher. Eh, una frase okay. que me gustó, que me gustó es donde dice, no sé cómo se pronuncia, tal vez me ayuda. Dice, I owe you one. No sé si se pronuncia así, como te debo una. Yeah, I owe, I owe you one. I owe you one, okay. Yes. Oh, thank you. Okay. And also there you can find the, the, the expression that we already started. You are not allowed to go out. Do you remember that expression? Somebody else, please.
Did you finish? Okay, uh, I need that you make an step now, please, and just talk about what you understand about this. Okay, okay, time is over, time is over. Time is over, please. Hello. I know that the video is exciting and you are watching it. You are concentrated. Okay, you can watch it again over and over. But right now, yes, tell me what else? Did you understand about it? Hello? Okay, as I told before, there in the video, you can have a different perspective, a uh, different way how to ask for permission using a different model. And it is really important that we know how, how to deal with this situation, right? Okay, let us continue then with uh, something else. Going on here. Hold on, hold on, please. Okay, here we go. Okay, in this case, we are talking about could. And uh, we need to know that could, we can use it in different situations. Could is used to express possibility. Also, possibility may suggestion and request. But it's also used in conditional sentences at the conditional form of can. We have like a possibility uh, you can use, cause uh, an accident driving like that. You could cause an accident driving like that. 
we also we can talk about past abilities. Sarah could dance like a professional at the age of six. Also, as a suggestion, we could go to dinner after the movie, like a request, could I leave here early today? And like a conditional, if you are not working tomorrow, we could go on picnic. But in this time, uh, we are starting could like possibility, right? Like a possibility. I mentioned all this uh, extra topic because it is really important that you know exactly that in English, a word or a verb, we can use it in different way. Okay. Let us see something else in our book. Okay, this is the material. And right here we have a clear idea how we are going to use the could. It said that the model verb could, uh, we are going to use it to express possibility and the structure that we are going to follow to in order to create this uh, kind of sentences is that in the first position, we are going to have the subject then we are going to have should, and after that, we are going to have the, the main verb plus the complement. And so an example that you have there is just you could request a day off. And the second one, you could talk to your supervisor or the manager. The third one, she could explain her situation. And the last one, we could take the company's transportation. Okay, I need that you have very clear this, uh, this chart, this explanation. If you don't understand something, just let me know, please. I need volunteer who wants to read this uh, example that we have here, wants to do it. Me teacher. Okay, read it. Um, you could request a day off. You could talk to your supervisor or the manager. She could explain her situation. We could take the company's tra transportation. Eso. Eso okay. ejemplo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. What I want to show you here is that uh, in this case, Lo que quiero mostrarles ahora es que en este momento nosotros estamos viendo el estudio de could para expresar posibilidades. Eso no significa que no se pueda usar de otra manera. Pero en, en este preciso instante, we need to focus our attention in possibility. Los previos que les leí es para que se den cuenta que sí, tienen más usos. ¿Cierto? Okay, but also, before to continue to the next activity, I would like to share with you something else. Because in the video, uh, at the beginning, the question, the boy used uh, the word can. Do you remember that? Okay, let us take a look at this. It's a, it's a, in a brief, 
Okay. Vamos a darle una miradita a esto, así como en forma. Así, can and could. We have also abilities and at the same time we have permission. Okay. Right here, you already know how we can use can. Match the picture with the verb. But in this case, also we can use could. You could write a by, you could dance with him or her, you could go and skate, you could play basketball if you go to the basketball court. Uh, if there is a karaoke, you could sing there. Yeah. If you come to my house, I can, uh, you could play the guitar and so on. But also in this case, you can use it like with can, right? We have some picture here in order that you can remember uh, what uh, somebody could do. For example, this one. What can you tell me about this picture? Do you remember? Like. Yes, by using the word could. Or if you want, you can use can. I could ride a bike. Okay. But if you point to the picture, You can say she could. Yeah, what about this one? I can play the guitar. Guitar. Yes. I could dance in the party and so on. I, I, I would like that you think about a sentence based on this picture, but let's go to see something else, scuba diving, fish, uh, skate, sing, uh, ski, use smartwatch, play the guitar, ride your bike, dance, play basketball. Okay, uh, now uh, I need that you try to create a sentence using cool. Hagamos una oración, cada uno rapidito, agarre una la figura que le guste y cree una oración. Usando could. Do you remember the structure, right? Recordando la estructura, ¿cierto? Do you have it? ¿La tienes? Sí, could seem the show but what about the the subject or the sentence cheese recordemos la estructura para que no viemos ninguna parte de, de la estructura Imagine with this picture, imagínese con estas figuras. 10 people had the chance to create a sentence. More than 10. 10 tienen la oportunidad de crear una oración and share it with me. Remember that you need to practice. You could play bas basketball. Okay, you could play basketball. What else? He could fish. Uh, he could fish in the river. What else? Somebody else? No? Okay, I'm going to continue. We have affirmative and negative. My sister can ski, we can play basketball. But let, let me see 
the word. Uh, can cannot can. is equal to say can or cannot. It is the same. I can cook. We can play the guitar. And in this case, we are going to make a switch. Can he? Yeah. Yeah. Can he play the guitar? Yes, he can. No, he can't. You can sing opera. Can you sing opera? Yes, I can. No, I can't. They can ride a bike. How is the question here? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Can they ride a bicycle? Can they ride a bicycle? Yes, they can. Okay, por eso les dije que le íbamos a dar una miradita así como light. Rapidita porque esto ya... Ok, can exercise my sentences? We and he. In this case, we can. We can. We can no. swim. We, in the we order. can swim. Very well. We, he can't swim. Yeah, what about this one? They? Can dance. Ski. They can ski. Okay, what about this one? He or you? Oh, you need to remember the name of the of the spur. Oh, let me see something here. Because I want to see who that is what we are looking for. Okay, okay, take a look at this. And focus your attention the, of the use of school. Good for five possibility or ability. My sister could take me to school, could play basketball. He couldn't speak English. As I told you, we have a different scenarios where we can have uh, the use of school. And also in an interrogative way. He could play the guitar and we are going to Switch the position and it's going to be in this way. Could he? Yes. He could. He could, okay. <clears throat> no, he couldn't. You can sing an opera. We use an opera. Yes, I could. No, I couldn't. They could ride a bike. Could they like a bike? Yes, I could, or no, I couldn't. And also like a request and permission. Can you open the window? Can I open the window? Could you give me some information? Could I go to the party with my friend? Could I go to the party with my friends? See the word, it is like more formal to ask question. And also we have can and can, uh, but in this case, what we are uh, focus our intention, it is in good. Okay. Well, let me see the time that we have now. Okay, okay, okay. okay. What we are going to do next is that based on the example, you are going to you are going to create a conversation. Uh, Choosing one situation on exercise number four of your book. I mean, we are talking about this. Let me see what is it. 
I got it here. Here we go. Okay, number four say read the situation and write a sentence present possibility with good. And we have a uh, five different situation. For example, you don't have a car. The second one says someone of your family is sick. Number three, you need to request a legal document. Number four, you feel tired, you feel sick. And the last one could be, um, you need to ask for permission. Okay, you are going to write a sentence, a present possibility with could. For example, in the number one, you have you don't have a car. How can you write a sentence and use it good there? I could buy a car. I could buy a car at the end of the year. Okay, excellent. Okay, uh, try to solve it. Try to solve it alone, please. Cada uno lo va a resolver para que no se copien. No digan me robó las ideas. Okay, try to do it, try to do it. Okay, okay. Como cinco han perdido conexión. Estábamos más y hoy veo menos.
Okay, um, let me see what do you have. Somebody else wants to read, but uh, go in the second one. Someone on your family is sick. What is the sentence that you have there? Me teacher. Tell me. Uh, todos los cuadritos. Uh, Just the second one. Yeah, the second one. No, please. Okay. I could take her to the hospital. I could take her to the hospital. Okay, I'll read the number three. Uh, I could call to a lawyer. You could call to a lawyer. What about number four? I could take a rest. And what about the number five? Um, I could buy or cook something to eat. Uh, I I write I wrote. Uh, you are hungry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. ex excellent. Okay, somebody else, please. Hello? Alguien más? Me. Okay, tell me. Who say me? Do it, do it now, please. Me? Okay, Cristina. You, do, you don't have a car. You could say to buy a car. Someone of your family is sick. I could take him to the doctor. You need to request a legal document. You could make the request. And you felt tired and sick. I could sleep on moment, one moment. She need reservation in hotel. She could call, call the hotel to us. To book a room, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Somebody else want to read it, please? Me, teacher. Okay, Juan Carlos. Number, number one. You don't have a car. Uh, I can I can travel by taxi. I could. Uh, I number. Could. I could travel by taxi. Okay. Number two. Someone of your family is six. I can take you to the doctor. Uh, number remember, three. Okay. Remember that you are going to use. Good. Good. Yeah, we need to follow the instruction that we have in right, the book. Okay. Uh, num number three, you need to request a legal doc document. I I can order that by Gmail. Okay. Uh, number four, you feel tired. I can request, uh, no, I... I can go to sleep early. Okay, if you feel tired, we go to sleep early, okay? So? Somebody else, please? Hey, teacher. Money. Okay, uh, number one, you could let, let me your car. Number two, my family could go to the doctor tomorrow. Number three, you could give me request a legal document. Number four, you could go to the bed early. Number five, you could study English. Excellent. And the last part is
The last part is that you are going to create a chart conversation, but you need to choose one of these situations. Usted va a elegir una de las situaciones y va a hacer una conversación corta. Yeah, for example, if you talk about the first one, that you don't have a car, you are going to talk with, uh, with your partner and you are going to say, for example, oh, well, hello, Maria, you look sad, what happened? I have a problem because in my company, I leave my company at night and sometimes it is difficult for me to pick up a bus. Yeah, and you are going to say, uh, what you can do is just start saving money in order that you can, ooh, you could buy a car. You could buy a car, you can go and ask for a credit or something like that, you know. Okay, let us, let us try to do it now, please. Let me see if it is possible that we do it. Se ha quedado sin energía quien let me see what happened there. Bueno, hay alguien ahí que se ha quedado sin energía. Quizás en algún sector se fue la energía. Por eso es que, sí, ahí está Miguel incluso eh, conectándose. Ok, let us try to... You don't need to write down a lot of things in order to create a, a conversation short using could. Ok, tratemos de hacer una conversación corta. No, no necesitamos hacer algo largo, ¿sí? Based on the previous conversation, they are going to create one. In order to do that, they need to choose one situation from the book. They have it there. Xiomara. Sí, ya me, me quedé sin luz y acabo de venir de regreso. Sí, eso, eso es lo que estoy observando, que varios se desconectaron así rápido y quizás hay alguna zona bastante grande que se fue la energía. Sí, se me fue la energía, por eso mandé un WhatsApp, pero vino algo rápido. I'm going to send it to room four. La voy a enviar al room four. In room four is Cristina, Stefan, and Martin is waiting for you.
Twitter tengo inestable el Inter. Me volvieron a sacar. <risa> ok, no te preocupes. Ok, welcome back. Volunteers, please. Volunteers. Voluntarios, voluntarios. A mí. Tell me, please. Don't picture me. Okay, good, sir. Me and me, creo que tuvo problemas de conexión. Okay, uh, hello. Could you borrow me your car? Hello, I'm sorry, I can't eat on the mechanic. Mechanic? But I but could lend you my motorcycle. Lend the motorcycle. Okay. The mechanic. 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 Yeah, and also you can say uh, the car is in the body shop. Body shop. The yeah, party shop is in El Taller. Ah, okay, party shop. In the party shop. Party shop, okay. Okay, excellent. Somebody else? Somebody else, please. Hello, hello. Who wants to do it? Only one couple more. Solo una pareja más, please. Mi teacher. Okay, Cristina. Pero creo que me dieron problemas de conexión. Así que la hice yo sola. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Um, hello, Sara. Hello, Dan. How are you doing? I have a little problem. Really? Give me what the, is the problem. I need to do the reservation in a hotel right now. I could help you with that. Only that. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, the rest had the chance to finish uh, on the weekend. The rest, they are going to have the opportunity to do it on weekend and they are going to perform it in, on Monday. Let me check out the assistant now. And also, uh, let me see if the person that is going to stay with me is Raquel Judith Vasquez. Is there? Are you there, Raquel? Let me see, I don't see you, Raquel, 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 Raquel. It's not here. Raquel. Well, it's not here. Got problem, got problem with the connection.
Okay. Anayel Carmen. Present teacher. Angel. Present teacher. Cristina. Present teacher. Giovanni. Present teacher. Harrison. Present. Jose Miguel. Jose Miguel. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Karina. Linda. Maria Idalia. Maria Julia. I'm here to teach. Marlene. Present. Marlene. Present teacher. Marvin Omar. Nancy Ivet. Norma. Pre Present teacher. Okay, Marvin is present. Nancy? Nancy Beth? Nancy? Norma? Present teacher? Norma? Yes, teacher. Okay, Rafael? Present. Rafael? Raquel Judith. It's not here. Reinaldo Castro. Suleima. Xiomara del Carmen. Present teacher. Eh, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Nancy Beth did an answer and Maria Idalia. Maria Idalia y Linda, they are not here. Okay, let me see what else is here. Okay, Raquel Judith Vasquez is not here in this moment. Maria Idalia sí le dijo present teacher, pero no le escuchó. Maria Idalia Hernández. Sí, es que me quedé con esa duda porque... De... Yo escuché que dijo present, pero ya después de que después usted de... le había hablado. Uh -huh. Yes. Bueno, ahí se va a ver en el vídeo. Linda si no estuvo y Nancy. Y Reinaldo. Bueno, el resto sí está a bordo. Um, I don't know, Ana Cristina, I don't know if you have enough time in order to talk about Ana Cristina, yes. I don't know if you have any question. Uh, you can stay at the end of the class. Ana Cristina. Yes, if you if you want. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. I hope to see you next Monday. I remember that we are close to finish. Only just uh, three days. Try to solve all the activities that you have in the platform and try to participate because I like that, that you do that, that you interact with me and with your classmate. And that way you are going to get uh, more skill. Okay. Good night. Bye-bye. See you on Monday. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, Good night, Good night everyone. Bye bye, Harrison. Okay, Ana Cristina Chavarria. How may I how may I help you? What can I do for you? Eh, ahorita estaba viendo como lo de la tarea del curso que tenemos que completar, pero no sé si tenemos que hacer toda la oración 
porque me las pone mala, o porque dice que hay que utilizar como la palabra que está entre paréntesis y el cool. El cool, cool, ok. It is the exercise number, let me see, 17. ¿Qué número es el? el, el... 17. Okay, let, me, let me try to see it. Let me mirar acá, por favor. Ok, su pregunta es si necesita escribir toda la oración o solo la palabra, ¿cierto? Ajá, porque dice como completar con el cool y como entre paréntesis. Entonces no sé si voy a poner yo toda la oración o solamente cool as, digamos, en la primera que dice. Es number 17, right? Yes. What, is, what, is, what instruction said? Complete the sentences using... And then using could in the very brackets. Yes. That means that according to the structure, de acuerdo a la estructura, usted va a usar a could y el verbo. Si se maneja la estructura, se va a recordar cómo funciona porque según, según la instrucción le está diciendo que solo va a usar could y va a usar el verbo eso, solo eso es lo que va a escribir usted en el espacio que aparece no va a escribir, no va a escribir más que eso solo el verbo eh, perdón el, el, el moro y el verbo Ahí solo es, de que vea, solo es de que vea la estructura para que sepa cómo va el orden. Okay. Entonces, dice la estructura sería como eh, yo, digamos, que el pronombre. Ok. Más. Vas. Auxiliar más. En este caso no auxiliar, es modo ver. Plus, que sería más, más. más complement. No, y Santa Mesen, algo, algo le falta después de eso. Ahí le falta algo. Okay, uh, in order that you remember, you can watch your book. You can take a look at your book. Let me show you here. I'm going to show you the structure. Ahí tenemos la estructura, vea. This is the structure. This is the structure that you have to follow. Esta es la estructura que va a seguir, ¿vea? Hola. Sí, pero es que lleva sur. Por eso me queda con la duda. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, aquí, what happened is that there is a mistake. Aquí hay un error porque aquí debería de ser la palabra cool. Ok. Sí. Porque el tópico arriba dice use the modal verb cool to express possibility. Entonces, si usted ve los ejemplos, tenemos aquí. Eh, let me make a, a line. It is subject. Que sería este. No, let, let me erase. Voy a borrar todo esto. Ok, uh, let me see. The subject is this. Then we have cool. In this case, have to be cool. Sería cool. 
Después sería el verbo, sería el request. And the rest is the complement. This is the complement. Ok. El verbo, cuando usamos pull, no cambia. No. En inflection. No hay cambio. Aquí puede observar, mire. Aquí hay una tercera persona. Y dice, she could explain her situation. No hay alteración en el verbo aunque se use con tercera persona. Ok. Ahí está. Si maneja esta estructura, eh, ahí estamos hechos. Y aquí en vez de should, es could. Por eso que me quedé como confundida. Sí, pero por eso es que yo les digo de que deben de en el momentito preguntar. Para, y así con su pregunta les ayuda a los demás también. Hay otro que aprende más rápido que uno, entonces uno que... <ríe> Así es. Así es. Ok, I, I, I don't know if you have another question. No sé si tiene mm. alguna otra pregunta. Con el otro tema que sí no se me pasó bastante es el del de cuando preguntábamos si estaba enfermo. El que vimos ayer. El de igual. What's the matter? Cuando decíamos eso. El de ayer fue should. Mm, no, pero vimos una que, unas imágenes en las que estaba what's the matter? Y ella decía, she has got a uh, match. Como que le hablé de estómago. Yes, that's, uh, if you remember, si usted la recuerda, eh, en las imágenes las usábamos para hacer la sugerencia, la recomendación, era usando should. Sí, porque si por ejemplo había una imagen con un niño que estaba con dolor de estómago, you should, uh, he should take some painkiller. Él debería tomar alguna medicina para que se le quite el dolor. Porque should es para dar a, a sugerencias. Pues, digamos que la oración de should sí la comprendí, pero cuando hacíamos la pregunta... Y el, no el ejercicio. Como, ajá. Cuando usted contestaba, she has got... Uh, let, me see, let me see if I have it here. Déjenme ver si lo tengo por acá. Ajá, uh -huh, I got here. Aquí lo tenemos. Para ver a dónde está la confusión. Yeah. You, are talking about, yeah, you are talking about this, right? Está hablando de este ejercicio que hicimos. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, for example, here. Right here, the question says, what is the matter? La pregunta, ¿qué es, pues, ¿qué es lo que sucede? And we have a, a, a picture, and at the same time, we have a word, backache. She has got a backache. ¿Cuál es el problema? Él tiene, ella tiene, perdón, un dolor de espalda. Luego dice aquí, her back, her, solamente hasta donde dice back. Su espalda le duele. Eso ahora, no entendí. Ahora, ¿cuál sería, por ejemplo, eh, la sugerencia? Sí, la sugerencia. Sure. She shouldn't leave heavy scenes. Ella no debería levantar cosas pesadas. Shouldn't. Yeah, shouldn't. 
¿sí? Ella no debería. Y un ejemplo más, veamos, para que comprenda bien. Ok, what's the matter? She has got a to check. ¿Sí? Yes. Ahora dice, mire, como aquí dice, ¿cuál es el problema? Ella tiene un dolor de muelas. Her, aquí cuando decimos sus, ¿sus qué? Sus muelas. Ah, le duelen. Pero en este caso, como la palabra, uh, si la vamos a hacer en plural, aquí podría ser her teeth, hers. Le duelen las muelas, lo tiene. Este es el, sería el plural de tooth, que es teeth. Y luego la sugerencia sería, she should, should go to the dentist. Ella debería ir al dentista. dentista. Y el último ejemplo que le vamos a dar va a ser este. Ok, what's wrong? ¿Qué pasa? He has got a... Uh, er 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 sí. Él tiene un dolor de oído. ¿Qué es lo que le duele a él? El oído. Entonces, his ears, aquí le quitamos la palabra edge. Porque esta palabra edge, si yo la quito aquí, esa significa dolor. Y ahí, y ahí la otra es la parte del cuerpo. Ok. And, and, and then he should or shouldn't? Should. He should go to the doctor. Y la última, he should not. Aquí sería he shouldn't. He shouldn't. He shouldn't, he shouldn't go to work. Él no debería ir a trabajar. Okay. Okay. Creo que con esos ejemplos te ayudamos un poco, ¿cierto? Yes. Ok. Was a pleasure to give you a hand. And I hope to see you the next week. Because only have three days, solo faltan tres días. I invite you to solve all the exercises in the platform. No, teacher. No, no ha terminado los ejercicios de la plataforma todavía. No me falta el de hoy. Ah, ok. Excelente. You have the time in order to do it. Ok, thank you very much. I hope to see you the next week. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.